Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I want to do my third video for the year of 2020 of all of the eyeshadow, or all of the pans I hit, actually. I'm not just doing eyeshadows. I do have um, some face products that I've been keeping track of as well. Anything that I can hit pan in, I did put that in a spreadsheet. I've done two of these videos before. I did one in the middle of June and one in the middle of September. So I will link that playlist down below and up here on the screen if you wanna go back and see those two videos. I was hitting lots of pan and so I wanted to break it up into groups so that those videos weren't extremely long and overwhelming. So before we get into that, let's talk about what eyeshadow and what lipstick I'm wearing for today. For the 365 days of lippies, today I'm wearing this Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in the shade Kiss. This is it right here, and I think this is the first shade that I think is kind of a little bit of a dud for me. It is a very neutral color, but as you guys can see, it just kind of looks a little bit orange on me. I don't know. It's kind of a little bit uh, like concealer lips. That's a little bit too orange. I don't quite like this. I'm going to have to play around with this and find a way to use this up. Maybe take a dark brown eyeliner, I mean, eyeliner lip liner. <laughs> and mix it with this. Try to change the color a little bit. If you guys have any tips and tricks on changing up um, lipsticks to colors that work a little bit better, let me know down in the comments, please. And then for the 365 Days of Eyeshadow, I am working on this Morphe Glitter Shadow in Poppin. This is it right here. And of course, I do have this on the inner half of my eyelid. So these are my two products that I'm wearing today for 365 Days of Eyeshadow and lippies. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get into all the pans I've hit. Like I said, I do have them um, all put out on a spreadsheet uh, for the entire year. So let's go through all the pans and then I will talk numbers with you. Uh, since the first one I have for this group is September 22nd, I did hit pan in one face item and that is this cream highlighter in my Natasha Bloom Blush and Glow palette. And this is the pan right here. This is one I was working on in the Panners pan. So that is the only one that I have for this round that is not eyeshadow. So I'm not gonna do these in the order that I hit pan. I'm actually gonna start with all my Morphe palettes because these are the largest palettes and they're taking up most of my desk. These Morphe uh, eyeshadows I was working on in my Mission 100% Cruelty Free Pan Those Eyeshadows. So. The first one is my 35i Icy Fantasy palette, and I did hit three pans in this palette since uh, the middle of September. I hit, this one was already in, in the, um, I've already hit pan in, but these two right here, and then this one right here, this is one that I was using as an all over um, setting shade for my um, eye primer. So I do have four pans, but this one was hit before that September, before September 22nd. So there's three pans I hit. Let me just put these down here, leaning against my chair, so I can have some room on my desk. So the next one is my uh, Morphe 35V Stunning Vibes palette. And in this one, I hit one pan. Um, and that is this shade right here, Trist. You guys can see I do have pans here and here, but this is the one that I hit in the last couple of months of the year. Next one I hit was in my Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette. And for this one, I believe the one I hit was Light of the Party. And that is this one right here. And this one I was working on in my Throwback 30. You guys can see my other three other pans that I have in this one as well. You guys can tell, I've uh, hopefully tell that I've been working hard on my uh, Morphe palettes to try to use them up and move them out because they are not cruelty free. Next is my 39S Such a Gem palette and in this one my most recent pan I hit was in Treasure Trove which is this silver one right here. I did previously work on this one, this one, and this one. So I think most of my Morphe palettes with the exception of one have four pans in them. And then my Morphe James Charles palette right here. I hit pan in two shades in this one. So the first one right here is called Halloween. And this one is called Love That. And as you guys can see, I do have pan in these two as well, but these are the two for this period of time. 
Okay, now that I have all my Morphe ones done, I have a little bit more room on my desk to spread out. So let's get these all set up. Okay, so let's go to ColourPop. I do have two Super Shock shadows that I hit pan on. The first one is the shade Haze. This is it right here. It is more of a white color. I think I was wearing this with a lot of red eyeshadows. So of course, some of the red transferred in here, which is fine. It still works beautiful. Uh, it still looks beautiful, I should say. The next one is Frog. And this is it right here. And again, you see that little pan in the middle. I do have a ColourPop single as well. And that is one of the glitters. And this is in the shade Hungry Ghost. And there's the pan in that one right there. Okay. Next, let's talk about my Too Faced Sugar Cookie Palette. I have been working on this one. I'm trying to pan this entire palette in my Throwback 30. And for this update, I hit pan in two shades. I hit pan in, I have to read out the shade names off the back. This one, fresh from the oven and half baked. Okay, so the two that I hit pan in is this one right here. And this one I believe is called fresh from the oven. And then this one is half baked. Believe it or not, I did hit that pan and you guys can see I've just continued to expand that. So two more pans in this one since the last update. Next is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and I did hit pan in one shade here, and that is this shade called Georgia. Next, I have one eyeshadow palette from Bellanoia, and this is the Desert Safari palette. And I was working on this red shade right here. These don't have names, but that's the shadow that I hit pan in. I have one palette from Urban Decay. This is the Born to Run palette. You guys know that this one was in, I believe it was in my Pan and Everything Project Pan four months. <laughs> and it took me months to hit Pan right here in this one and this shade right here. But I'm so happy that this one is looking more used and loved and that I was finally able to hit two pans in this palette. Okay, for my, now the last group I have is for my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. The first one is my Subculture palette, and for this one I hit pan in, gotta scroll down, there we go, Sub, I've hit pan in two shades right here. The first one is Dawn, and the next one here is in Roxy. So two pans there, and I am working on a couple other shades in the Panner's Pan in this palette. Next is my ABH Sultry palette, and I do have to consult my list because some of these pans are from uh, from previous updates. So for this one, it's two. So right here in Noir, the black shade, I hit pan in, and then this one right here in Fresh, and I already had pan in Cyborg. So it's these two right here. And then for my Modern Renaissance palette, I hit three pans in this one. Let's see, this one, this one. Okay, so actually it's these three right here in a row. So this one is Primavera, is this one red ochre? Yeah, red ochre and Venetian red. So these three right here are the pans that I hit. So those are all the pans that I hit in the last three-ish months of 2020. So, for total number of eyeshadow pans I hit for the year 2020 is 71 eyeshadows, which I think just blew me out of the water. Like I said, this is my first year panning. I never in a million years would have thought I would get to 71. I remember when I did my last update, I said I didn't even think I'd get to 60. So I got to 71, which I think is incredible. I'm really, I'm really proud of myself for that. And then as far as all of the base products like highlighters, um, I haven't hit pan in a blush yet. <laughs> oh no, I did hit pan in one blush. Highlighters, blush, uh, face powders, things like that, um, and a couple of cream ones that were pressed into palettes. I did hit pan in 11. And then the other statistic that I like to keep track of is how many I finished. In the year of 2020, I finished seven face products completely.
and I finished completely nine eyeshadow pans. So that those are my numbers, I should say, for 2020, which then leads me into some goals that I kind of want to set for the year 2021. Um, I am doing a lot of eyeshadow products projects, so I want to... I want to put the number at 70 again. I want to see if I can hit 70 again. I don't know if I can. I am trying to pan this palette and this palette in their entireties, um, both during this year. So I am going to be focusing heavily on those. And I do have, uh, you know, a couple of eyeshadow panning project pans going. So I, I, I Think I can do 70 I'm nervous about saying the number 70 I'm gonna be honest with you guys that's why I'm not trying to go higher than 71 is because so much of my focus is on those two palettes and as far as number of eyeshadows I want to hit in 2020 I hit nine I want to try to go for 20 the reason I'm saying that is because there's 14 in here and there's five in here so that's 19 as it is so if I can get both of these done, I'm almost at my goal anyway. So I'm going to try to double, more than double what I did last year and go from nine finished eyeshadows to 20. So I'm going to be doing updates. I want to do these quarterly, I think. Um, I will get through the end of March, and so then I'll do it in the beginning of April, July, and uh, so forth. And I will let you guys see all the pans that I've hit in all of the different palettes and face products. And then I will let you know where I am, how many I've done, um, and how close I am to hitting my goals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't want to pull out all 71 eyeshadows plus, what was it, 11 face products. That would have been so much to pull out. Some of the items that I have hit pan in, I have completely finished, and so those are gone. Um, I did do my yearly empties. You guys can go check out that video as well if you want to see um, those. So I did just want to do the last third of the year. If you guys want to see those other ones, again, please don't forget to go down below and check out those videos that I do have linked there. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Uh, if you haven't already, I hope you please uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.